How did you manage to get to Tony D'Orazio? I had bugs and wiretaps all over the damn place. When that weirdo left the Royal Hotel to deal with one of his men, I was listening. I didn't know you was coming. I'm just packing away your latest shipment. How long you been running this business, Joe? <laughs> I, I, I know five, six years. Five years, three months, and 18 days. Well, this is turned. Look, I, I know I've been lied, but it ain't my fault. I've always placed a premium on maintaining order. If you let the rot set in, Eventually, it will take hold and destroy everything you've built. The only solution is to isolate it, eradicate it before it takes hold. You understand, Joe? Christ, Donna, you gotta listen to me. Some nuts out there shooting hell out of everything. You know how many of my men he killed? Yes. Dominic, is it? You will take the armored car and personally oversee the collection of all outstanding monies owed to us. Am I clear on this? Y yes, Mr. Razio. Once you have collected what is due, deliver it directly to me at the hotel. The code to the elevator is 0451. couple of options. He could use the elevator code and go into the lobby, which meant shooting the hell out of the place. Or he could steal Dominic's car and go in quiet through the hotel's parking garage. When you're in the hotel, grab a couple of those little fancy soaps. <laughs> they won't give me any more at the motel. That's you. I missed the first shot because I suck. All units, search is called off. Repeat, abandoned search. Return to patrol. just live to see month two. Got a body here. Got Are you so fucking done? Got it. Over here. Got it. Where did he come from? He missed me anyway. Oh, that's not. That's gonna be DeRazio's car. He's gonna jump in that and try and escape. Running all over the 
goddamn place, smashing our shit to pieces. I want to know what the fuck's going on down there. You hear me? It would be difficult not to. What? I've already taken the appropriate steps to address the situation. Believe me, things are well in hand. Well, they fucking better be. If this thing with the judge goes sideways, shit's gonna roll downhill real fucking quick. We haven't lost anything of any significance except for some men. And they can be replaced. In fact, they're the easiest thing to replace. Saul doesn't give two shits about any of those stupid fucks. All he cares about is the people that matter. Understand? I understand completely. And you have my word that all payments will continue as scheduled. None of our business associates need to concern themselves with our recent difficulties. Yeah? Okay. I'm counting on you here, Tony. Don't fuck this up. Goodbye. Take the rest of the day off. Okay, here's the thing, Congressman. When Mr. DeRazio made his very generous contribution to your campaign, it was based on promises about those lots downtown. Well-documented donations. No threat intended, sir. Just a reminder. Will you do that? We'll be waiting on your call. Thanks. Hey! Hey! You killed one of our boys! He's murdering us! Get out of here! Get him from this! Your reign of terror is right fucking here! Get ready to bleed! Spotted him! This way! Shit. Ain't no way you getting past here, boy. Any final words, boy? Heading for cover. Shit! He's picking us off! He's dropping like fucking flies. Fuck, I asked him. Hit him from the other side! The reign of terror ends right fucking here! Bastard got me trapped! Gonna put you down, son! Hey! Hey! Over! I ain't going out like that! I'm in a world of hurt here! He's reloading! Rush him! Run him for cover! Got a beat on him! We got another man! Got me left for me, cocktucker! <laughs> Take your cover! You certainly are audacious, aren't you? Filthy fucking mongrel.
You really think you know how all this is gonna play out, don't you? <laughs> Do you? <laughs> Go ahead. <coughs> Kill me. I'll be replaced tomorrow. <laughs> no one will even notice. You're wrong. Everyone will notice. streets of our fair city as a gunman stormed the Royal Hotel, killing an untold number of men. There was a loud crash, like a bomb going off. I looked up and there was a man falling from the top of the building. Then all these men showed up and every one of them had a gun. They ran into the Royal and that's when the shooting started. <laughs> I still don't know how the hell Lincoln got out of that hotel. Oh. No way, Tony's still alive. Hush. Huh? Whoever you are, you did real good getting up here. Believe it's gonna be a different story. Out of here. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> What are you fuckers doing down here? Go somewhere else. Are you serious? That was too simple! Uh, I know I missed a, a collectible, but I don't really care for that. Thanks for making time for us. Tony DeRazio just kissed the pavement outside the Royal Hotel. Downtown is ours. Of all construction in the sham work sites, the Imperial, and all the limp dicks who owe the mob money, we own it all. You were starting to give me the impression that I might not be a real important part of this crew. Twice, Turf came to this table and went someplace that wasn't me. That's not an easy thing for a guy like me to take. But now my guy's got all the action here locked down and ready to go. All you gotta do is say the word, and the money starts rolling in. Irish run enough of this city. You need more Haitian blood out there, brother. None of us here are looking to run a fucking charity. Help folks, maybe. 
But when it comes to making money and having real power in this town, there's no such thing as too much. Even if I am running most of the action around here. You're fucking with my livelihood, pal. Gonna need Beto to run this turf. You lost your fucking mind if you think these crackers will pay you the same consideration if the roles were reversed. Disrespect ain't attractive on you, honey. Not now, not ever. Is this over? Because I really need to go drop a load in the bog. We'll talk later. Get on out of here. I don't know what happens with the Bayo. They're saying you threw Tony off the roof of the Royal? Actually, it was through his penthouse window. You always had a flair for the dramatic. Tony's ledger. Last couple pages are pretty interesting. Any idea what US 5CJ means? Wait a minute. Holy shit. Why is Lou willing to comp 10 grand a month at a brothel and the same at a drug den? Based on what Greco told me in Scaletta, Marcano's laying out a bunch of money to get gambling legalized. And if that's what you're after, who better to have in your pocket? Than a judge on the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals, US 5CJ. Exactly. There have to be over 20 judges on that bench. Could be any one of them. The kind of man we're talking about isn't used to people getting into his business. I start visiting the places listed in that ledger, he'll panic and go to Lou for help. And that's when we'll find out who he is. Keep that wiretap running. Never turn it off. <laughs> 